Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. This video is sponsored by ToyHacks.com. They're your one-stop shop for reproduction decals for your vintage G1 Transformers and upgrade decals for your modern bots. Weaponry for your figures from the Toy Hacks Armory and great looking backdrops for your display from Toy Stages. And when you visit ToyHacks.com, make sure and use my monthly promo code to save 15% off your order. So yes, 15% off when you use my promo code right here. Right here. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now. On to the video. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Transformers Studio Series Gamer Edition Optimus Prime. I just got Prime in today from Entertainment Earth and I'm really excited to take a look at him. So let's take a quick look at the packaging first. We've got Prime right there behind the open window. Some great looking artwork of Prime in his robot mode. Transformers Number 03 of the Gamer Edition Studio Series, Optimus Prime. This side of the box features the arcade symbol or the D-pad symbol. Optimus there and some more great looking artwork. Back of the box features product shots of Prime in his robot mode, vehicle mode, showing him with the Matrix, and he does have a backdrop. This side of the box, number 3, Studio Series, and an up-close shot of Prime. So now, without further ado... Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and let's get Prime opened up Alice packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now once you get your Gamer Edition Prime all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see that he does come with a sheet of instructions, and I did fail to mention that his game was the War for Cybertron. So Gamer Edition, War for Cybertron Optimus Prime. But anyway, the instructions are, as usual, very well illustrated and easy to follow. He also comes with this blaster, two different axe handles or pole pieces and then he has the axe itself and of course being a studio series figure he does have the backdrop which features a dark and rainy cybertron rain on cybertron so i, I never did figure that one out so if you'd like and if you do have the room you can put optimus prime right there to display him on cybertron I don't have the room, so these always go in the recycling bin. So now, let's take a look at Optimus Prime himself. Now once I opened Optimus Prime up, I was really impressed with how beefy he is. He looks like bodybuilder Optimus Prime. He is just big and bulky and just a bruiser of a bot. And taking a closer look at him here, great sculpted details all the way around. I love the head sculpt, that looks so good and has a really good paint job. It's got some silver right there for the crest, light blue eyes, dark blue for the helmet, and he's got silver for the mouth plate. Rest of the figure just covered in great details. You got Autobot insignias on either shoulders, some nice details right there under what I guess are windows. Moving on down, more sculpted details for the waist, little circular decals right there, not decals, details right there in the hips. Moving on down, like I said, the details on this guy, the sculpted details are awesome. He looks so good and really looks good all the way around. He does have a little bit of a backpack, but that, if I recall, looked like that in the game. So it's not bad at all. And he's not back heavy. I mean, he stands really, really good. I mean, this guy is awesome. Now let's go for articulation. Heads on a ball joint can look up and down to a complete 360. Arms 360 as well. They can go out, they can go in. There is a bicep rotation, a bicep bend, and wrist rotation. He also has waist rotation. Legs can go out, they can go in, forward and back, but back slightly, it tends to hit. 
right. It's the way the figure is designed. These hip pieces aren't going to go past that waist section unless you turn these waist like so. And no, it's still not going to work. So these hips are going to go forward and that's it. He does have a nice deep knee bend rotation there at the thigh, no rotation at the knee and an ankle tilt. So he's got lots of great articulation. So now let's take a look at his accessories. You know, I just talked about how he wasn't top heavy. Stand up. Okay, first accessory we're gonna take a look at is his blaster. And the first thing I noticed, it has one of the little dinky blast effect pegs instead of the port. I mean, this big cannon, you would expect to have a port, but no, it's got that little dinky attachment thing. So you got that going on. Now, how the weapons work with the Gamer Edition figures, they don't hold the weapons in their fist. You actually take the forearm off, pops off right there, that little peg, and then you slide it on, see the peg right there? Just slide it through the top section, get in all the way. So there you have Prime literally all armed up and ready for battle. And it's okay. I mean, that's how it was portrayed in the game. Pretty much I blame the movies because they never carry guns anymore. Their arms always turn into the guns. So yeah, that's cool. And you do have a storage option for the fist, uh, which cracks me up. Right here on the back, flip this section up. You got this little hole in his butt, a butthole if you will. And you're gonna peg the fist or the forearm into that hole giving him a forearm fanny pack. So there you go. He's got a fist dingleberry, but that is storage for the, the forearm. Next up, we have the ax. We've got the two pole sections right here, so you can connect those together and then connect the ax right here. So there you go, and that ax looks awesome. Look at the molded detail on the ax with that great paint job. I like that orange that just kind of fades into the background. It looks so sweet. Plus, if you don't like the looks of this axe, open it up and you've got a double bladed battle axe. How cool is that? And Prime can hold that. You can either do a short axe like so. Put this back together this way. Shove the pole all the way through the fist. Attach this one to the bottom. So now he's got his long axe, whatever you call it. I'm not sure of my medieval weaponry. And what's cool too, let's give him his fist back. He can dual wield the axe. And how that works, go ahead and run this pole through this hand here. And let's see, just connect them like so. And there you go, he is ready for battle. This Prime is sweet, love the robot. <laughs> Wait, hold up, I forgot to show something. Hell, it wouldn't be a Patriot Prime Reviews review if I didn't forget something. And for Prime, I forgot to show off the Matrix. Being a Prime figure, of course, he has the Matrix hid right there within his chest. And first off, look at the sculpted detail right there for the housing area of the Matrix. That looks so good. And then you have the Matrix right there in the center that you can pop right out and throw across the table. So there you go. That's the first new Matrix sculpt that we've had in a while. And it looks really good. It's gray plastic painted gold in a light blue. And it looks really cool with the ring light hitting it. The back is just plain with a big old hollow section right there. You can see the peg on his chest. And the way it's designed and the way this figure is designed, he's not gonna be holding this matrix. So you wanna keep this tucked away in his chest like so, snaps into place so it is secure. Now let's get Prime transformed to his vehicle mode. Now the first thing you're gonna do before you start transforming Optimus Prime is remove all the weaponry and reattach the forearm. Then you're gonna straighten the arms out like so, and then put your fingers right here and pull this section out. 
Next, go ahead and take the backpack, kind of flip it up out of the way, and these side pieces are going to rotate around. They only go one way, so if you try to go this way, it will stop. You're gonna rotate it just like so. Now, let's go ahead and rotate at the waist. Then, you're gonna take this whole front section, rotate it down like so, until it clicks into place like that. Push Prime's head back just like so. Rotate this backpack section around. Let's see, well, you should do that first. Okay, rotate that around, get that back. Now you're gonna collapse this up and over Prime's head and chest area. And then you're gonna bring these, I guess they're the wheel wells up and over the bumper. And you got these little pegs, see the pegs right there. Go ahead and squeeze these back in. There's also a peg up here. You wanna line up both pegs and just squeeze together. Do that on both sides. So that's pretty much it for the front end. Now, back here on the legs, you're gonna flip these shins up and then fold the feet in, just like so. And you can go ahead and squeeze the legs together. And these little panels right here, get those squeezed together. So you got that going on. Now, what you're gonna do is rotate this whole back end up so you have room to mess with the arms. And what you're gonna do is rotate the arms to where this big gap, this is the only time you're gonna see gaps with this figure, is facing to the side. So get those gappy sections out there. Rotate the fists around, or the forearms around to where, let me find it. There we go, this little slot right here and this tab, and you're gonna bring the fists together like so. So you've got that look going on. Now, you're gonna bring the hips back down. And this is kind of tricky because these joints right here are really, really tight. So you're bringing this down. Well, nope, hold up, I'm getting ahead of myself. Right here on the back of the figure, go ahead and move these flaps out of the way and then take these wheels and just flip these around and they will click into place. Now bring this section down and you've got these holes right there that are gonna line up with the pegs on the fist. See if you can get that lined up. It is kind of tricky because the knees like to bend and get in the way. Just that tight joint causes issues. So there we go, I've got those popped in. So now we just clean this up a little bit. Take the top section here, bring this down. And then you're gonna bring these side panels after you flip up the exhaust or the smokestacks and they just move very slightly. Flip those up and then those are gonna peg in here at the top and here at the side. Get that one snapped in. This one snapped in. Let them pop loose. Still popping loose. What's going on? And there we go. Optimus Prime in vehicle mode. Okay, Prime's vehicle mode is sick. I love the looks of this thing. It just looks so beefy and badass. Love the color scheme. It's got all red up here at the front, blue at the back, silver here at the front as well. We got the wheels, which look great. They got the black tires with the orange and silver rims, smaller wheels in the back with the bigger wheel up front. And yes, it rolls so good. I love the looks of this thing, except the back where he's got his fists hanging out. I don't understand why they couldn't give some extra flap right there to cover those fists up. That just looks very unsight unsightly. So if you have him facing this way, no problem whatsoever. He's very fisty in the back. Now, he does have weapon storage. You get the cannon right here, and you've got these sections right there that will slot into the back that actually help hold the back end together. So that looks pretty cool. He's off and ready for battle, a armored vehicle, so awesome. You can also store the ax. There are, or this, this little section right here that will line up to these 
or these little holes on the axe. Peg that in. So you've got that going on, which looks goofy as hell. Not a big fan of that. So if I'm gonna have him in vehicle mode, that axe is just gonna to stay to the side. And this is a pretty big vehicle too. I do have G1 Prime here for comparisons. So as you can see, big and beefy vehicle. I dig it. It looks really, really good. So there you go, guys. There is Studio Series Gamer Edition War for Cybertron Optimus Prime in his vehicle mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Studio Series Gamer Edition War for Cybertron Optimus Prime with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, Fall of Cybertron Optimus Prime. I could have swore I had the War for Cybertron Prime from a few years back, but he must have been part of my great Transformers purge of 2012. And lastly, Earthrise Optimus Prime. Transformers Studio Series Gamer Edition War for Cybertron Optimus Prime is a great Transformers toy. This figure is so much fun. I have had a blast messing with him both in robot mode and vehicle mode. He's well made and he's just a ton of fun and I couldn't be happier with him. So there you go guys, Transformers Studio Series Gamer Edition War for Cybertron Optimus Prime. So. Does a Transformers Studio Series Gamer Edition Optimus Prime belong in your collection? Absolutely. I love this figure. Aside from a couple of nitpicks, I think this guy's awesome and turned out way better than what I was expecting. I mean, he's got a great robot mode, great vehicle mode, fun transformation, and I think this figure is not only going to appeal to the gamer fans, but Optimus Prime fans as well. I just really really like this guy so if you happen to see a gamer edition optimus prime on the shelf don't hesitate pick him up i think you're really really going to like him now guys if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when i upload new videos also if you're in any position to help out the channel i do have a super thanks button and i also offer channel memberships and I have to give a huge shout out and thank you to all my current channel members because it's your support that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime signing out. Hurrah!